Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn bus admittance matrix that is YBUS, which is very important in uh, load flow analysis. With that bus admittance matrix, the calculation will be very easy in power system analysis, especially load flow studies. Okay, so let us see how the admittance matrix can be found with inspection method. So for that purpose, here I have considered a simple network having three buses, one, two, three here you can see. And these are the corresponding admittances, branch admittances. Okay, so this, let us say this Y12 is a admittance of the branch which is connecting bus 1 and 2. And Y11 is a bus admittance. Okay, so is a branch, not bus, is a branch admittance that is connecting bus 1 to ground so similarly rest of all elements so here we need to remember that the system is a symmetrical system so symmetrical system means y12 will be equal to y21 and so on for the rest of the elements also and in order to obtain the y bus or bus admittance matrix let us assume the bus voltages are v1 v2 and v3 corresponding to corresponding to bus 1, bus 2 and bus 3. Now what we do, we need to apply KCL. We need to apply KCL at each and every bus. Okay, so since the current direction is not specified, we have to take the direction like this, always leaving from the node. Okay, so if the, the, in this way we are taking the direction of current and it is uh, the branch which is connecting bus 1 and bus 2. So let the current be I12 and this current as I13. Okay, so this current as I11. Clear? So now you apply KCL at this point. Then what you are getting? I11 plus I12 plus I13 equal to 0. Okay, so that entire summation is there. No, I11, I12. Let us assume that overall impressed current at bus 1 as I1. Then it will be what? I1 equal to okay so i1 equal to what i11 plus i12 plus i13 as we all know according to ohm's law v equal to iz is the formula i is equal to v by z so it can be written as 1 by z so it will be yv so current can be represented as a product of admittance and voltage so now see here, this is I11, right? So now what is the admittance? Small Y11. This is the admittance. And what is the voltage across this branch? So this is V1. Usually, what is the voltage of ground? 0. So V1 minus 0, you will be getting V1 here. Plus, what is I12? See here. So this is the current. And what is the branch admittance? That is Y12. So you have to write y12 into voltage across this particular branch so that is v1 minus v2 because you are finding the current in this way so v1 has to be positive v2 has to be negative basing on our basic nodal uh, analysis terminology so it will be v1 minus v2 similarly i13 so this is i13 so what is the admittance y13 and what is the branch voltage then will it will be v1 minus v3 okay so now we are rearranging the equation uh, like v1 v2 v3 terms so v1 we are having three of such elements okay so let us uh, have v1 as a common element then you'll be having here y11 plus y12 plus y13 into v1 plus what is V2 coefficient? This is minus Y12. So write it in the same way. Minus Y12 into V2. Plus what is V3 coefficient? Minus Y13. So minus Y13 into V3. Call it as equation 1. Clear? So similarly, we are going to apply KCL at node 2 or bus 2. So current direction is not specified. So assume leaving. Let the current here be I22, 
this is I21, this is I23. Okay, so apply the same concept. All uh, the impressed current at bus 2 will be what? I2 equal to I22 plus I21 plus I23. See here, I22 plus I21 plus I23. Okay, so what is I22? Y22 into V2. I21 will be Y21 because I already told you this is a symmetrical system. Y12 is nothing but Y21. So here we are writing this admittance as Y21. So Y21 into V2 minus V1. That is nothing but I21. Similarly, we are going to write the relation for I23. Let us write I. Okay, so by simple inspection method we can write that. So this is what? Y22 into V2 plus y21 into v2 minus v1 plus y23 into v2 minus v3. Separate the terms. So if we separate, what is the v1 coefficient? Minus y21 into v1. So v2 coefficient, we are having three of such terms. It will be, I am writing in a systematic way. That is y21 first, next plus y22 plus y23 into v2. So v3 coefficient that is minus y23 into v3. Call it as equation 2. Okay. So similarly we write or we apply KCL at bus 3. So let us assume the currents are leaving. So here the current is i33, i32. This is i31. Let us do the same kind of process. Okay. So now what is I3? I3 is equal to, the, this is the overall impressed current at bus 3. Okay, so this is I33 plus I31 plus I32. Okay, so we'll be applying same kind of analysis. So it will be Y33 into V3. This is Y31 into V3 minus V1 plus Y32 into V3 minus V2. Just remember 3, 2. So this is V3 minus V2. There's a shortcut. Okay. So now separate the terms. So V1 coefficient. So that is minus Y31 into V1. Thus V2 coefficient. What is V2 coefficient? Minus Y32 into V2. And what is the V3 coefficient? We are having 3, right? So I'm writing in a order. So first term that is y31 plus y32 plus y33 into v3. Okay, so call it as equation 3. And before writing these equations in matrix form, let us assume this part as capital Y1, Y11, this part as capital Y12, this part 13. Similarly, so here also this as y21, this entire term y22, this entire time term y23. So similarly, the third equation also we can write this part as y31, this one y32, this part as y33. Now we represent all the three equations in matrix form. If we represent, so this is I1, I2 and I3. So let us write those equations in matrix form. So what you are getting? I1, I2, I3. So instead of capital uh, small Y11 in these three terms, what we can write? Y1. So here Y2, 1, 2. Next Y13. So in the same way we write. So then the equation will be y11, y12, y13. Similarly, here y21, y22, y23. So and then the last one y31, y32, y33. So what is the coefficient of this y11, v1, v2, v3? For every equation are there, no? So that should be mentioned in the matrix form. So this will be V1, V2, V3. 
so this matrix is called Ibus matrix. Okay, so this matrix is called Ibus matrix. Bus currents. Okay, so impressed bus currents, and this is voltage. Bus voltages. V one, V two, V three. So, what is the title of our uh, video? So this is bus admittance matrix. So this is the bus admittance matrix. So since these two are symmetrical, these two are same. And these two are same. These two are same. So all the off-diagonal elements are same. Okay. So these are the diagonal elements, and the diagonal elements equation will be whatever the admittances which are connected at the individual bus. So see here, what is capital Y11? So Y11 is this one plus Y12. It is this one. Next plus y one. That means whatever the admittances that are impressed at bus one will be considered as capital y one. That is the overall admittance at bus one. Okay, so in this way we can form the bus admittance matrix. So I hope you understand. If you got any doubts, you just comment in the comment box so that I can clarify your doubts. Thank you so much.